Namaste. My name is Rui Zimmer. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak about the magic formula to change yourself. So everything is scientifically proved what I'm telling you here. If I ask myself I'm totally healthy, totally fit, hard to beat in sports, enjoy my life and that by the age of 65 years. Thing is over. When I was 20 years old, I was so sick and depressed. This means we can change our attitude and our body. And this means always. People don't believe in God but in doctors and never recovered from the sickness. So they remain the same and do the same and get the same instead to change their life and attitude. If you tell them that every disease or bad body condition can be healed and that I can prove by myself, they deny it because they want to be the same. So I don't waste time on such people anymore. I just offer what I have to offer and then I just don't want to waste one second more and turn around. In this condition, if you think you can't change or you can't be healed, you are correct. <laughs> it's all what you believe. What will happen if you think that you can be healed and enjoy your life? Things is over. Then they can do that too. And that is 100% scientifically proven already. No? Never trust any doctor who gives you a low chance of healing. Because there exist always therapies that can cure every disease. You have just to look for that and I can prove that. You have not naturally also opened up your heart. And then you find the solution. And this is true not only for your life, for everything. We have to understand if we can't change our emotions, our bodies can't be healed. And finally, they have proved it. <laughs> yes, the emotions, uh, um, depending uh, uh, or our health depends on our emotions. And we can't heal sickness if we can't change the emotions. Okay. <laughs> this is finally proved. For instance, if we are stressed out or worried too much or too much anger, too much fear, too much depression, we can't heal our body and even worse, we, can, we get sick. As the emotions are directly, directly connected to our sickness. Okay. At least we should accept the disease and be thankful for that disease and for our life. When I was so severe ill, I could understand this. As long as I don't accept the symptoms, I cannot be healed. We have to be aware of our negative emotions and thoughts in order to change them. And most of the people are not. They make positive thinking, suppressing their negative emotions and thoughts, and think everything is fine. And then they're getting cancer. And this I had forecasted again and again for most of all uh, um, positive thinkers, and I was all the time correct. They got all the time uh, cancer, for instance. <laughs> for this, we meditate and watch as a neutral witness, witness our emotions and thoughts. This, what is meditation other than just to watch and let happen? And we should be neutral. Everything is okay. There's nothing wrong, okay? Still, we watch neutral our emotions and thoughts. Everything is good. Never judge your emotions, thoughts negatively. We accept our emotions, thoughts as they are. Okay, this is the whole trick. <laughs> and then our minds and body will change. Yes, what you watch, that will change. And that is also proof to 100%. And yes, and that happened to me. And that is possible for everybody. If you look what that we are doing things more and more that we enjoy, also our body will profit from that. 
do things that you like, okay, and enjoy. If our brains are changing, our lives will change too. And that is possible with imagination and positive emotions. So I could not try it out by myself because my, uh, my imagination is so lousy, I cannot do such things. So um, I'm a feeling type of person and, and there exists a, a visual piece and so on, they can do it easily, but uh, emotional types of persons cannot do that. We have other uh, um, advantages. <laughs> Without positive emotions, we, our brains, can change. They have done it with weightlifting, with piano playing, and the best athletes doing the same. Yes, they're doing all the same today. Also, Tiger, um, what, what is uh, this, this best golf player, did it all the time. Tiger, okay. The people who have done physical weightlifting compared with the people who just only done the imagination of weightlifting with positive emotions, as if they have done it, got the same results. <laughs> the same was true for piano playing. Yes, visualization is working out. If we go up in the morning with negative emotions and thoughts, guess our entire day will be ruined. That means we have to prime our minds to go up with positive emotions and thoughts. What happens if we release our negative emotions before we go to bed? And if we think of what things we are thankful for, then the morning will be positive and so the entire day. Yes, you have to release your negative emotions before you go in the bed. Otherwise, the next day is ruined. Okay? <laughs> and make this gratitude exercise in the morning and in the night before you go in the bed and the day and will be positive. If we hate things to do, we look that we change our attitude towards them or ask our friends what we can learn from that and how can we change our attitude. And this I would do in any case. In our ashram, we had to learn to do everything and to go beyond our liking and disliking. And this had worked out also, okay? Because everything is just an ego trip. And egos we can change. Not other egos, but our own ego we can change. Never try to change an other ego. It will not work out. So everything has two sides, positive and negative. And both sides have the same size. Okay? For instance, I was hating to get interrupted and go on the phone. My supervisor decided you hate that, okay, then you are responsible for my phone when I'm not present. And the other supervisor did the same. And I'm happy that my supervisor challenged me. After a short time, I was responsible for the entire department and made the decision for my supervisors when they were not present. Later, I became nearly everywhere the supervisor, you see? If you can uh, um, transfer the thing what you don't like uh, um, or hate uh, to God, okay? Thank you that I could speak to you and bye.